In April of 1861, the Civil War erupted, tearing the fabric of the country in two. Thousands of men on both sides volunteered for duty, and by the end of the war, almost three million had served. The war also had a profound impact on lives of women, many of whom served in hospitals or took over the family farm or business. Women, however, were officially barred from joining the military. But this did not stop over 100 intrepid women from disguising themselves as men to enlist in the Army. Sarah Rosetta Wakeman was one of these courageous women. The oldest of nine children, Sarah was born in Shenango County in 1843. And in 1862, using the name Lyons Wakeman, Sarah enlisted in the Union Army. During her time with the Army, Sarah wrote to her family frequently. Her letters detailed the boredom of everyday camp life, the fears of never seeing her family again, and the hardships of combat. We expect to have some fighting today before we get to the Red River. I don't never expect to see you again in this world. March 2nd, 1864. Sadly, in 1864, Sarah Wakeman suffered the same fate as many other Civil War soldiers and succumbed to disease. Her body was buried in New Orleans. After the war, Wakeman's letters remained hidden in an attic for almost 80 years. But today they have been rediscovered and offer a unique perspective on America's bloodiest conflict. Sarah Wakeman, Civil War soldier and another local legend along New York's path through history.